This is an opportunity to experience the power of God tonight. And I trust that God will do mighty things in this place. I know he will do mighty things. Absolutely convinced. Holy Spirit, who would give us such an audacity to gather people like this? Except for the power that resides in the name of Jesus. Our confidence tonight is based upon the fact that you love us. And Lord, we trust you to do absolutely beyond our imagination. Heal the sick, deliver the oppressed. Let doors that have been closed be opened tonight for the glory of your son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone. This is our April miracle service. Can you celebrate Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. I especially want to appreciate those of us coming from other states, other part of this country. You're very welcome. In the name of Jesus Christ. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a faithful God, awesome is your name. You do mighty things, you do glorious things, you're a faithful God. Help me worship us. Hey, hey. to hell if you are not expectant but if you are really expectant let me see your hands can you give Jesus a shout of praise tonight let the devil know that Jesus is Lord hallelujah hallelujah those outside, can you intimidate those inside with a shout? A thunderous shout of praise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hawk 20 people and be seated. Make sure you're greeting someone. Don't just sit down. your friends. I'm seeing a group of people doing some real greeting down there. What's going on? Alright, so I don't know the song. I really don't know the song. What song now? Help me. Any song. Majority carries the vote tonight.
This is how we do it in Koinonia. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to your name. Listen. For those of you who are just coming, we are not mad men. It's an expression of audacity. The Bible says the shout of joy and victory will not depart from the tents of the righteous. Hallelujah. People, they ask me, say, Hold on. What do you know I'm singing? Sam, come. Otu akachine ke motile Otu akachine ke motile of Jericho will fall. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you believe what I just said? The walls of Jericho will fall. This is what I saw in the spirit while we sang. The walls of Jericho. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are going straight to the business of the night. Hallelujah. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Tonight is a night of miracles. Tonight is a night of deliverance. I prophesy to you that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. I prophesy as a servant of the living God that these Egyptians you came here with tonight wave them goodbye because you will never 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 hallelujah I'm not speaking to anybody but I'm prophesying to someone that these Egyptians if God be God if God be God if God be God I prophesy to you tonight we didn't come to joke if God be God this Egyptian call it his name whatever it is this Egyptian it will go Sweet anointing in the sun. 
Come lay down the burdens that you have carried. For in this sanctuary tonight, God is here. Let's just read one scripture. Just one scripture. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. There is such a heavy presence of God in this place. Inside and outside, let your faith rise to its limit because God will do awesome things tonight. The hand of the Lord was upon me and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. Tonight is a prophetic night. Oh. Tonight is a... See, the words here tonight have prophetic implications. And caused me to pass by them round about. Bones of hardship. Bones of lack. Bones of infirmity. Bones of oppression. And behold, they were very many. This is the story of many families, very many. And they were very dry. And he said unto me, Joshua Selman, can these bones leave? Can this sick body leave? Can these dying finances leave? Can this delay and stagnation in this family leave again? Can this hopeless situation? leave can this blood condition leave can ss be changed to aa can a man on a wheelchair walk again the prophet was so scared he said only thou knowest and he said unto me prophesy there is no one like my god there is no one like my God. There is no one like my God. Prophesy unto these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, O ye dead finances, O ye family challenges, O ye oppression, hear ye the word of the Lord, O ye challenges, hear ye the word of the Lord. He said, Thus saith the Lord, I will cause breath to enter you. And ye shall leave. And I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you. And cover you with skin and put breath in you. And ye shall leave. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied there was a sound. There is a sound. This is why we are making sounds in the spirit. And as I prophesied, there was a sound. Bones, finances, health. I will reverence you, Lord. Don't sing, don't join me. Help me with the cymbal. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. 
I will reference you, Lord. I will reference you, Lord. I will reference you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is like everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Tonight, every dry bone, hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear ye the word of the Lord. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I prophesy in the realm of the Spirit. Hear the word of the Lord tonight. For in your presence there is life everlasting for in your presence there are miracles for in ha, your presence there is joy joy everlasting so I will reference Tonight we dethrone principalities and powers and everything that defies the name of Jesus. Tonight we set free the captives the oppressed Lord visit your people in a mighty way in a mighty way hallelujah hallelujah how many of you are ready for what God will do tonight how many of you are tired of the oppression of Satan? Don't just stand in for yourself. Stand in for your family members. Enough is enough, oh God. Hallelujah. The Lord told me there will be mighty deliverance in this place tonight. Many of you do not know the power of deliverance. Bring the lady who will shout at the back. The power of God will come upon one lady at the back. Please let me have her in front. The power of God will come upon a lady strong at the back. Let me have that lady in front. Tonight, listen, I want your faith. reach its limit because as we begin to move in the anointing of the spirit I want you to receive forget about your neighbor receive for yourself for your family members if you brought someone here I like you to relax because God will do wonders in our midst hallelujah the lady at the back I'm seeing an angel walking I'm seeing an angel walking 
across this road. The lady is wearing something like pink. Pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. Something like pink. That's the lady. Bring her. She'll come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the agency of the Spirit. Let her go now. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Foul devil of darkness. Go. I see you in the realm of the spirit. Go now. Bring them out. Lift your hands everyone. There are many people under the oppression of darkness. The moment I shout the name Jesus. I tell you to be like a tornado. The power of God will hit you where you are. No devil. I bind every devil from the realm of the spirit. I hold captive every foul devil. Tonight, you will let God's people go. Now lift your hands, everyone. At the count of three, shout Jesus. And the power of God will fall. One, two, three. Every devil, bring them out. The power of God is touching you. Every demon oppressing anyone outside the power of God is falling outside falling outside I rebuke evil spirits in this row in this row the power of God is falling mightily come out of God people I expose the works of darkness Every demon in hell Outside, outside, the power of God is falling outside. falling on two of you outside hallelujah lift your hands every act of witchcraft and divination many of you will be surprised what will happen in this place now because I'm seeing it in the realm of the spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus I command by the power of the Holy Spirit the wicked spirits of darkness that torment families and individuals and destinies you will be exposed now by the fire of the Holy Ghost the fire is falling right now the fire is falling right now across the congregation let the fire expose the works of darkness let the fire everyone under any influence the fire exposes darkness the fire these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever hallelujah come out of her now out of her in the name of Jesus come out of her 
foul devil of darkness go go i'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit out of her right now come out of her you're a wicked spirit of darkness out i'm seeing a snake this is what i'm seeing come out right now come out of her in the name of jesus christ go this lady has been oppressed and her entire family come out right now in the name of jesus you must go the light shines upon you go go now You have oppressed this girl for long now in the name of jesus come out of her come out right now out of her come out of her right now out in the name of jesus look at me turn and look at me come out of her now come out of her out in the name of jesus christ you're a wicked spirit of darkness Go, go. You will go in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a snake lying down here. I'm not even seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus Christ, let this girl go right now. Come out of her. Now. Out of her. Now, devil of darkness. Lift your hands. God is going to visit families hear me please hear me and some of you will represent your families are you hearing me right now the devil is a liar tonight are you hearing me the devil is a liar tonight the power of God will come upon families families right now whoever goes under the anointing you're not representing yourself but your family there are things that need to be settled at the count of three all over this building families be rescued one two three bring them out Every family, every family, every enchantment, every divination against any family be delivered in the name of Jesus. Pata Tabalada, Pata Barata, Karatosa, Rabariata, Beketori Seke, Mabrikato, Erekalikaba, Rabariata, Rekoto Seke Tekete, Bekeposhia, by the fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Apatakata, leka pras kataraka, rakata prakata ba, apros koso so prekete. It shall come to pass. The burden shall be taken from thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Go to reke, reko to so seketia. The power of God is still falling on families. I tell you, there are families being set free. This is what is responsible for the predicaments of many families. Tonight, there's no escape. The light and fiery presence. Mata Kabaya. Those of you outside, lift your hands. All of you outside, lift your hands. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a mighty rushing wind, let the power of God move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Move outside. Families be delivered. 
families be set free. Move outside. Kata ta ta ta. Rakata baba. Raposoto. Regeteke. Raposkose. Regoske niata. Mapata borokote. La eke regeto. Raposke blondo. Kapriata kata shekete. Outside, the fire of God is falling. Son of man, can these bones live again? Son of man, can these families be revived again? Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from outside. There are many of them from outside coming under the influence of the Holy Ghost. Bring this lady. You leave our family right now. You are a demon of darkness. Come out right now. Out by the power of the Holy Ghost. right now you are a foul devil of darkness out out right now out right now come out come out foul devil of darkness I've seen you I've seen you in the realm of the spirit. Come out now. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You're a demon of darkness. This is what is responsible for delay. Marriage, no marriage, no this and that. This is not the issue of man of God, pray for me. This is the issue of dethroning principalities over families. Come out. Listen, let me explain something to you. Listen, I've said it time and time again. You can be born again. Your salvation does not affect your family. It's a personal thing. Are you listening to me? These people in front are born again. They are tongue talking. They are not witches. This is the nonsense people carry around. This is about territory salvation these are the spirits responsible listen for delay delaying different things marriages there's a lady at the back this row the power of God is coming upon you right now fire upon her in the name of Jesus look up please look up Satan is very stubborn. He's not just going to pack his load and go when there are people who are servicing altars and covenants every year. Some of you, you're, you are born again. Bring the lady. Bring this lady. This is delay I'm seeing. Look at. This is delay. All kinds of delay in your whole family. Incisions were made in this lady's body. wonder look up there are certain issues that you go through in your life you pray about it you fast about it the more you pray the more you fast nothing is changing why is it so hold on hold on no let that lady not go 
Look at my eyes. Please dress and let's have a lady wrap something around me. Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Try your best. Look at my eyes. Go. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. See. Listen. The Bible does not teach us to sit down talking about demons all day and all of that. But let me tell you something. If you don't deal with the things that are putting themselves as strongholds in your life and in your family, you will be surprised that you can be born again and filled with the Holy Ghost. See, we like telling ourselves lies in church. Me, I don't have time for that nonsense. Are you listening to me? Everybody just wears suits, and then we just and the devil is oppressing people. Who is Zainab? Zainab. Zainab. Please let's save time. Zainab. You are Zainab. Look at me. The Lord is bringing deliverance to Zainab's family. Come out of her right now and her family. Out in the name of Jesus. You will see a nice pretty lady like this. Then eventually things will not move on in her life. Bring this lady. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. I'm speaking to the spirit, not the person. Don't worry, the spirit is hearing. Look at my eyes. Your reign in this family is over. It's time for you to go now. Now, go. Just let her be. Come. Lift this lady for me. Sweetheart. Your family needs a lot of... Ah, what is this one that I'm seeing? You have an elder sister. Where is she? Is she married? Eh? She lost the guy. It's not that she lost the guy. Because I'm seeing... Anyone that wants to ask you people out keeps dying. This is what I'm saying. Look at me. Look at me, sister. What happened to the guy? He was shot. He was shot. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? So now you see this lady and you are happy. Satan. Come out now. Come out, you wicked spirit. Out now. Now. Out. Let our entire family go. The problem is when you want to deliver a family that is not ready to give up things that are evil, it takes the mercy of God. This is the situation we have here. Now I see you. You will leave this family. Go! I'm seeing a man that is as tall as 20 feet. Go! Now! Ranta prosko sete balakatea. Victory, Victoria, victory, victory. Is it victory or Victoria now? What's the name? Victoria, come. Look at me. 
the Lord brings salvation to your family tonight. You believe that? Bring this lady. Put your hands on your stomach. Look at me. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Alright? Are you ready? One to go. You're free in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. Listen. I want to pray for those with heart conditions. Any kind of heart condition whatsoever. Lift your hands. Hole in the heart. Abnormal heart, heart condition. These two ladies come. Come. Tonight is your night. You and you. The lady lifting her hands and the lady close to her. Are you friends? God is visiting two of you. Come and stand here. It's the presence of God. Look at me. Look at me. Just look at my eyes. Two of you need deliverance before impartation. Come out of our family. Right now. Ah uh ah. -uh. Bring this lady. Look at, look at this. A lady suddenly comes by herself and now she cannot look at me again. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. I've seen you in the spirit. You are going. On your mark, get set, go. Go, go. conditions where are they please come out quickly heart just dress this ones aside every one of you will be visited mightily by God tonight heart please come out quickly hold on there's the Lord is showing me someone you have like epileptic seizures. Who is that person? You can fall down and convulse. Who is the person? Ep it started when you were young. Who is that person? Let me see your hands quickly. I need to pray for that person. Epileptic seizures. Because this is very demonic. Epileptic seizures. Look at me. How many of you believe you will be healed? What's wrong with you? Yes. Heart problem. Come. There is one of you, you had a dream. It was after that dream you started having this heart thing. Who is that? You had a dream. Come. Stand for God to set you free. What's the problem? Give him. What's the problem? There is a day that I was sleeping. In the dream, I saw somebody. The person don't shout. He and I not shout and I wake. Since then, my heart. It seems to me, it seems to me that the heart wants to. I you know, that I want to give up anytime. This is not heart problem, my brother. This is the spirit of death. Are you listening to me? This one is not heart. You think it's heart problem? Put your hands there. Look at me. Just look at me. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for you quickly. As I pray for you, just receive. Go back, check yourself. In the name of Jesus. 
out of her. Come out. You are wicked. Come out. Out of her right now. Come out now. Wicked devil. Aha, I've seen you. Come out. Out of her right now. This one is not hard problem. Aha. You will leave her. Come out. Out of her right now. Out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. of you who brought sick people please we'll, we'll start ministering shortly but I want to pray for people who please stand up everybody stand up stand up hallelujah the Lord is specifically asking me to pray I'm going to pray you won't come out God will bring you out by himself um, the Lord is showing me people who are oppressed in your sleep in your sleep you are sleeping in the night the severe oppression of the devil whether a man or a woman coming to sleep with you and all those kinds of demonic things the Lord is going to set you free from it lift your hands everyone it should go lift your hands father even as you have revealed this to me in the name of Jesus Please keep the hands as high as you can outside too. Mm. The gates of evil over lives and over destinies. Oppression and manip manipulations of darkness even in dreams. My God, right now, let the power of the Holy Spirit sweep across this congregation and bring deliverance to those many people. In the name of Jesus, now lift your hands. Now! 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 I give a word of command in the realm of the spirit that oppression goes go 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 bring them out oppression from your dreams molestation in your dreams Pareke te se kelebash Pa 
Ashote kete tete, rekete boso to balata. Lord, this one's in front. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I bring you freedom. An end comes to this devilish oppression. You will go. You will go. Go. Go in the name of Jesus. You will go. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You will go. I'm seeing this lady being oppressed. A man is... Go! Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out right now. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. Out of her. She's free. Leave her. Be gone forever. Come out right now. Out. Come out of her right now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You are going in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come out right now. Come out. Fire upon you. Fire upon you in the name of Jesus. You are a wicked spirit. Look at this. This is somebody that came happily and nicely. You see the things we are talking about. The Lord Jesus is against you. Fire upon you right now. Come out. Ma. Come out in the name. Look at her assuming the character of a man. This is a lady. This is a lady. Out in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the other lady that came? Now. Be gone. Leave her. Leave her. She's free. are sick you are sick in your body whatever it is you are sick in your body it's time for us to minister to you and we are going to be prophesying and opening doors of restoration in families are you following me now so as the worship team ministers Mosaki will play the saxophone as the worship team ministers no 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 hold on she's not done sister look at me come out of her right now Hallelujah. So, if you brought a sick person, now is the time to bring them to the front. Very quickly. Very quickly. While the worship team gives us a song. Wherever you are, know that the power of God is there. Those outside, make sure you are full of expectation. Quickly, quickly, let's have the sick people. Please, ushers, direct them. Quickly, quickly, please. You are sick in your body. You came with a sick person. Especially those coming from outside Zaria. Come and line up quickly. Pastor Jakes, Bishop Sam. Quickly, quickly, please come and line up. Ushers, help me arrange them. Arrange them in lines, please. Some of you are outside, running here, it's time for your healing. Hallelujah. Pastor Jesus, edge me. 
Now we're going to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit. Listen to me. As we begin to minister to you in the power of the Holy Spirit, for some of you, it's demons that will need to go. Whatever the sickness is, just know it's going to go right now. Those of you who are standing, you can connect for your loved ones. Don't be distracted, please. Oftentimes, at moments like this, the devil will start distracting people. Now is the time to be sensitive. You can be where you are and the Holy Ghost can be doing his thing with you. Hallelujah. As hands come upon you. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sister, look at me. Just look at me. Salvation comes to you. We're going to begin to pray and minister to you. As hands are laid, worship him, help us. Hallelujah. As hands are laid upon you, expect a miracle. Whatever it is, barrenness, delay, sickness, what if it has a name, it has a need tonight. Hallelujah. Worship him, help us. Please, those of you at the side, please make sure that you just join us while we lay hands on you. Check yourself. Go back to your seat. Check yourself. Whatever is wrong with you, you'll be here. Go 
in the name of Jesus. Now, your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Go, you are a wicked spirit. Fire upon you right now. Fire upon you, out. With a loud shout, you are going out. Go, go. Now go. 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 On your mat said, go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. The demonstration of the authority of light over darkness. Make sure you are praying. Whatever the sickness is, it will go. Come out! Come out! Come out! Out of my name of Jesus! Go! Jesus, go, go, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, your time is up in this body, go, as we pray for you, make sure you go back to your seat, giving thanks and rejoicing, it doesn't matter what is wrong. right now.
telling you the presence of God is mighty in this place. Malaka prosata la bakaria. Sheda balada bonga. Zatekra tabalada ba. I'm seeing families. The curse of delay. Marital delay. The Lord is showing me over families. Station of darkness, go in Jesus' name.
for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the wicked someone has a problem with the left side of your ears the left side of your ears who is that person the left side of your ears is as if there's water the left side of your ears the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus the Lord is opening it right now in the name of Jesus your hands there look at me just look at me says and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm has eaten the palma worm please be sensitive everything we are doing here tonight is very prophetic and I will restore to you there are two families here that need major restoration the Holy Spirit is going to bring them out they will come out by themselves under the influence of the Holy Spirit two families Wherever you are, I subject you to the influence of the Holy Spirit. Two families, you will come out by the power of the Spirit. Leave them alone, they will come out by themselves. There's one more family. By the, by the influence of the Spirit. Major restorations. One at that side again. One at this side again. What is an angel doing there? At the back. At the back. I'm seeing an angel moving at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord moving at the back. They are all coming out by themselves. They are going to come out by themselves. This will be the sign that they are, that is the prayer point I'm talking about. Major restorations. Major restorations. It's the Holy Ghost that will pick you. A lady from the back will start running out by the power of the Holy Ghost. All of them, you will come out. Don't, no, but don't hold her. She will run and come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. There's still one more lady at the back. I'm seeing an angel of the Lord there. There's still one more lady. The power of God will take you. This is a sign of restoration. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. Come out. Take a tele caramos everyone that belongs to this category the sign is that you will run by yourself you will come out by the influence of the holy ghost it's a prophetic sign for speed the holy ghost is bringing speed into your life let our family go come out come out come out Our family must go free. The fire will burn you until you let this family go. These families, mark these families. They will experience major, major breakthroughs in a matter of days from now. Days from now. There are still some people at the back. 
the Holy Ghost is visiting more and more people families for restoration families for restoration my Lord major major restoration hallelujah hallelujah eight eight one one two five two eight eight one one two five two you or someone in your house has that number this is part of the 11 numbers eight eight one one two five two come out eight eight one one two five two And then I'm seeing the last digits of your number again. 774. A Z number. 774. 774. A Z number. A Z number. These families must be free, oh Lord. You are the lady. You are the lady. 774. Z number. Do you know me? Do you know me? Come out of her right now. Out of her. Something mighty will start happening now. All of them will start laughing. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. This is a sign of victory. Laughter. All of them will begin to laugh. They will begin to laugh right now. The laughter is a sign of victory. I tell you, it's a prophetic sign. They can't control it. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing doors opening in the spirit for their families. Thank you, Jesus. Now, listen. Some of you may sit there, you are wondering what is going on in this place right now. This is not Joshua Selman. This is the Holy Ghost. This is the Holy Ghost we teach about. Japheth, lift your hands. God is taking you to a new level of the prophetic. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. The Lord is visiting you. Take it now in the name of Jesus. Blessed Jesus. Worship team, hold your hands together. It's time for you all to enter a new season. Hold your hands together. I'm telling you, a mighty anointing is going to come upon the worship team. A mighty anointing. Hold your hands together. It will move from Yinka like a mighty wind. It will pass. Move right now. The power of the Holy Ghost. Look at I'm seeing an angel moving. It's like fire. It's moving in a mighty way. My God, let no man stand. Let it move in a powerful way. All across in the name of Jesus Christ. Ushers, all of you come out. Ushers. Ushers, quickly. All the ushers, come out, please. The Lord says to prophesy a new season for you. It will start from this sister, you. The power will start from you and move this side and move that side. Lord, let it be right now. It's not about falling down, but then it will come with power. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It comes like fire upon you. It's setting you for a new season in the spirit. Mark this lady. She'll begin to have a lot of prophetic dreams. It's five of you. The power of God is coming upon you. In a mighty way. Mighty way. 
All of you in this row, from this brother to that lady, please hold your hands. I don't know what it is. I, this, yes, just you. Lift it up, please. An angel of the Lord wants to walk from my sister with a baby right to my brother there. Lord, let your power move right now. Across that place, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. media just be seated don't stand up be seated but hold your hands together i want to pray for you at the count of three i'm seeing a whirlwind one two three There is a lady you had a dream yesterday you saw me ministering to you there are not many times these kinds of revelations happen who is that lady you're a lady you saw me ministering to you in a dream that you had please come out there is a lady please let's save time we still have some other things to do Baba sister you are entering a mighty realm in the spirit i want to open a gate right now Efata, be open An impartation is coming upon you. You will never be the same. David, the Lord is restoring your family in a mighty way. And even you, the Lord is bringing order to your life. There's a lot of chaos. Your life is scattered. Very scattered. Let your life come back to order. Hallelujah. Ushers, collect the prayer requests. Please pass your prayer requests quickly. Gabriel. 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 there's a mighty move of the spirit in this place God is just visiting people make sure you don't those outside don't think you are not part of this ushers ushers look at me look at me Lever, come out come by yourself come and stand here Come and stand here. This lady is strongly influenced by spirits. Come and stand here. Just stand and wait for me here. Right here. Stand and wait for me here. Gabriel, my brother, the Lord is bringing you to honor. 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 Mark this word. Go and write it. Huh? In exactly eight days from now, something major is going to happen in your life. Go on, right? Hold on.
bring this lady. Please, ushers, collect the prayer request quickly. Because we still need to prophesy and open up doors and activate the gift of the Spirit. This lady loves God, but has been influenced by devils. It's now time for God to anoint you and take you back to your family. Are you listening to me? A prophetic fire will come upon you today that you will never recover from. Lord, you will never be the same. Never be the same. Those on Facebook are online community. Quickly, quickly. Please, ushers, gather them and then let's bring them. I'm seeing a family. Someone is on a stretcher. A woman. An elderly woman. Is it your mother or your auntie or something? On the bed. Looks like a stretcher. The Lord is saying I should announce to that person that they are getting up. You are the one? Come. Where's the mic? What happened? She has been sick. Eh? She has been sick. Who? My auntie. Your auntie. Where is she? She's in my hometown. She's in your hometown. Ah. Where's your mother? My mother is at home too. Your mother is at home too. Is she fine? Yes. You need to pray for her because what is happening to your auntie is supposed to happen to her. Let's rebuke it. Do you believe me? Do I know you? Come. Lord Jesus, let there be perfection in this family. Let there be light. See, you know why I'm laughing? I'll soon tell you what the Lord is showing me. I'm telling you, many of you your family members are going to be surprised at the breakthroughs mark the month of may mark the month of may mark the month of may many of you don't know why i laugh i laugh because of the things the lord shows me the sister jumping at the back standing close to shade's brother run from where you are and come I didn't say walk, I didn't say catwalk, run. You don't know why I'm asking you to run. Look at me. It's the season of speed for your family. Where's your father? Your father is late. You know why I asked where's your father? Do you know what killed him? Yes. What is it? He was poisoned. Your father was poisoned. Was and this poisoned. is something that they want to do to another member in your family. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. Debbie, God is visiting your family, but lay your hands at her back. Just lay your hands at her back. Just her back. The, the anointing is for you, not for her. Just lay your hands at her back. Father, visit her right now. Visit her in a mighty way. It's not you, I'm not ministering to you. This is the person I'm ministering to. This. God is bringing financial restoration for your family, Debbie. You have suffered a great deal. Financial restoration. Now it's time for you to be ministered to. Restoration in the name of Jesus. How many of you believe what God is doing in this place tonight? As soon as we pray on this request to the ministers, many of you by now know that every time we agree on requests like this, miracles erupt. Many of you, as we are praying, your prayer points, you will start receiving the answers right where you are. Hallelujah. Sas, let me invite the servants of God. Please, Jake's cup. this request we are not opening it but I'm seeing here marriage for your sister the Lord says it won't pass this year this request I don't know who has it marriage for your sister I'm seeing a lady hold on time what is this before we pray someone in your family has stomach started protruding 
people even thought she was pregnant. It's not pregnancy. Who is the person? Come out. Ah, this is satanical. Who is the person? There's someone, somebody's stomach. In. No, 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 no. This, you, you are not, I'm seeing the lady, like um, what they call it, this lady's hair. But this type that is, how do I describe it now? Help me, Holy Spirit. Where? Who is the person, please? Someone's stomach is a lady in your family. It's coming out. They're even thinking she's pregnant. You think she's not pregnant. Hurry up, my sister. Let's save time. Who is that? You or someone in your family? Someone in your family. You believe in Jesus? very well look at me look at me very well and you believe you help your family because my dear there is a lot of salvation that needs to happen in your family first hmm? a lot of salvation you too you were scared why this is a family please when you when you hear a word don't be scared Madam, why are you out for who? Eh? What is this? Okay. Doctor has. Lord, we bring perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards a prayer request, sirs. Honestly, I want you to believe. Stretch your hands. It doesn't matter how impossible the requests are. Just stretch your hands. Lord, in the name of Jesus, the Egyptians that we see today will not see them anymore forever. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Stretch your hands. Make sure you are praying. I hope this is all the request. Father, in the name of Jesus. Answers have been released. Answers have been released. I'm seeing answers like light being released from these requests. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Miracle marriages, oh God. Miracle jobs. Academic breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. Salvations of loved ones. Completion of projects. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for we know that the requests here are not beyond your power. Thank you for we shall begin to celebrate the answers even from tonight in the name of Jesus. None of the requests here, your hand will not bypass them in the name of Jesus. Thank you for great miracles in families and in the lives of individuals in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Celebrate Jesus with you. Now just give me a few minutes and we'll be out. Somebody's story is about to change. Forever. 
Believe me. Mosaks, come please. Let's do this. Just blow. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. Fire upon you right now. Everywhere in this building. An impartation. An impartation. An impartation. Let it come strong. From my left, my right, all across this building. Outside. Outside. New levels. New dimensions. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You will run like Elijah. Rabato let it hit you like a tornado. Let it hit you where you are. Let it hit you with power. Like a mighty rushing wind. Take it in the name of Jesus. 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 You become unbeatable. You become untouchable. I put a mark upon you. I put a seal upon you. The seal of the blood. The seal of divine protection. The seal of greatness. I put a mark upon you. 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 The mark of the blood. The mark of protection. The mark of victory. Lift your hands. I command doors of supernatural favor. Hear me in the spirit. Be open unto God's people. Koinonia, receive favor. 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 I program your spirit. Take favor. Hallelujah. Every uncompleted project in this place. I command, let the Lord visit that project before the end of this year. Completion of houses, projects in the name of Jesus. Every delay in relationship or marriage, I cause it to its roots now in the name of Jesus. Every plague of barrenness, 
inside and outside everything called barrenness in your life I curse it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I command a restoration whatever you have lost in the name of Jesus a sevenfold restoration receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus hallelujah look at me I want to break the curse of poverty over families I always do this everybody look at me I want you to bring out a seed you know that we don't if you don't believe it just keep your seed please bring out a seed bring out something that will touch you just lift it up many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you tonight inside and outside please share with somebody who doesn't have this is not about money this is about spiritual principles please bring out a seed lift it high above your head I praise God for the salvation of families. Lift it high, please, everyone. Please make sure you are holding something. Just lift it. Lift it high. Now watch what happens. There are spiritual and physical principles that bring wealth and prosperity. Hallelujah. For many people, you have done the physical ones. But certain spiritual forces of darkness are keeping the blessings of families just lift it up many of you will be surprised just hold it because that will be your uh, just lift it just lift it now the power of god every family suffering under financial curse just lift it you'll be surprised right now lift the seed to heaven my god like the sacrifice of abel visit it now in the name of jesus Rakatalata Bokaya. Poverty be gone. I cause failure and poverty. I tell you, doors of finances are opening in the name of Jesus. Let your seed speak in the realm of the spirit. My God, let it be a symbol. It took a sacrifice. To bring poverty let this sacrifice end it in the name of Jesus it took partnership with the realm of the spirit for the cause of poverty to come in families by our partnership with the Holy Spirit we introduce a new era of undeniable inexplainable financial blessings just lift it. Just give me 10 seconds. God is going to visit people right now. All across. Financially, 10 seconds. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Do it, my God. Let your people know that you alone are God and that besides you there is no man. Lift up the seed now. I declare supernatural increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for your seed. Let it go around this universe. Gather its kind and return back to you i command it go around the universe gather anything that looks like what you are holding return it back to you i instruct it go around all earth hear ye the word of the lord job says as for the earth out of it comes bread cast your seed gloriously ushers locate them as they drop it Please do that quickly. Let's round up.
I'm telling you, God is going to surprise many of you from this meeting. Believe me. Believe me. God is not a, a man that you should lie. Many of you right now, as the, as the power of God is touching you, your family members at home, God is visiting them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare to you that in this next month of May, if your ears can hear my voice, I pray, my God and my King, let it be a season of honor beyond your imagination. I prophesy as one sent from God if I be of God I pray that this next month my God let there be testimonies of honor it's a season of supernatural exploits I prophesy supernatural honor I provoke it from the realm of the spirit there's someone your dad is a banker he was taken away from the bank because of a case next month before now i'm 14 you'll be reinstated again hallelujah now look at me but well, thank god i'm here we're going straight into the business of the night hallelujah god is about to change someone's story forever in the name of jesus christ Mark 11, please, just pick up your Bibles very quickly. I already sense the power of God in a mighty way. The power of God is already moving in a very, very mighty way. Siba Baba. The power of God is just going to be falling on people while I speak. Just bring them out. The power of God will be falling on people right now as I speak. We're already out of time. Just bring them out. Everywhere, Spirit of God, just go ahead. Begin the things that you will do tonight. There's no time to waste. Mark 11. Inside and outside. It's happening everywhere. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Mark 11. Please help us. Verse 24. Mark 11, 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. He said, what things soever that you desire, when you come into the place of prayer, he says you must come with a, a condition of heart. Believe. Believe. There is a difference between receiving and having. Receiving is spiritual. Having is the manifestation. He said if you must have, you must first receive. You must first receive. You can never have what you have not received. He said, believe that you have received it. Then you will have it. The having follows receiving. You must believe. You must believe. James says, show me your faith with that word, and I will show you my faith by my action. Listen, tonight, the power of God is more than available to solve any problem, but you must plug in by faith. And listen, it's not just to claim. You must believe that God is in this place. You must believe that his anointing is in this place. You must believe that your situation is not causing God to scratch his head on the throne. Wondering what to do about your sickness or whatever situation. And then you must take action. There are many ways to take action. The first way to take action is your declaration. A proclamation of that which you have believed. The second way to take action is to do what you could not do before. That as the word comes could not walk that's the time to get up and begin to take steps if someone if
if you brought a blind person or a deaf person that's the time to exercise your faith the third way to take action is praise and thanksgiving that even when the miracle has not been perfected you will begin to give God thanks and the fourth action to take is your testimony lift up your hands we're going to pray two prayer points hallelujah prayer point number one you're going to say Lord let every spirit of doubt in my heart that makes me think is God able to locate me and solve my problem I curse that spirit right now lift your voice and pray the Bible says when ye pray when ye pray when ye pray because the spirit of doubt pray everywhere inside and outside because the spirit of doubt because the spirit of doubt because the spirit of doubt Listen, second prayer point. Listen, our access tonight to receiving everything God has in store for us is the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus is that sacrifice that gives you access to walk free. Hallelujah. It took a sacrifice to put you in bondage. It will take the sacrifice of Christ to bring you out. Hallelujah. The power of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a currency in the spirit. It can buy anything. Anything. It's a master card in the spirit. It can open any door. It can give you access to anything. I'd like you to lift your voice in one minute. Plead the blood of Jesus over your life. And say, Satan, you must let me go tonight. You must let my family go tonight. It's through the blood of Jesus. It's through the blood of Jesus. It's through the blood of Jesus. I invoke the power of the blood. I invoke the power of the blood. I invoke the power of the blood. Against powers, against rulers. Tonight we come in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the sacrifice on the cross, we confront gates, thrones, dominion. Tonight is your night of liberty. That sickness must leave you tonight. That situation meets the anointing of the spirit tonight. Hallelujah. We're going straight into the business of the night. Listen, there is nothing impossible in this place tonight. I want you to believe this that there is absolutely nothing impossible. Your part is to have faith in God to believe that His anointing is in this place. Number two, believe that is interested in addressing your case don't just come and waste your time hallelujah there are families here there are medical conditions here there are people here and it's a matter of life and death 
people have traveled from different states different regions please don't waste your time tonight open up your spirit to receive maximally from God lift your hands everyone father tonight take over this meeting let it not just be a religious formality let it not just be manifestations without result I subject everyone under the influence of the spirit Lord I pray that in a mighty way address all kinds of situations tonight let every kind of sickness and infirmity Lord I pray that every power that has held your people down let it leave right now hallelujah lift your hands everyone there will be mighty deliverance in this place right now listen deliverance is not just the issue of falling down or manifestation are you getting my point it is the fiery power of god vetoing into your life to say enough i like the poster they they cause i like the way the media did it it was a red sea that was being parted deliverance is not just about people manifesting demons it's about god locating the spirit behind the situation it's not just headache the power of god locating the root cause lift your hands goodness the fire of god is mighty in this place at the count of three listen hear me hear me except god is not in this place after the count of three that if there is any spirit that is not of god that is at the root of any man's problem except the lord did not call me tonight i tell you the truth under the god whom i serve if there is any spirit and i speak it let my voice echo in the realm of the spirit i speak to thrones i challenge dominion i challenge rulers of darkness every power of territory i come with an apostolic anointing that as the shout of god's people let those powers let god's people go inside and outside and all those streaming online listen at the count of three i like you to shout many of you as you shout some of you will step into visions instantly many of you as you shout those devils those devils the powers responsible for joblessness lack of marriage lack of progress infirmities they must bow tonight they must bow tonight god is doing a quick work and we're not going to waste time are you ready now lift your hands jesus thank you at the count of three let the fire of the spirit break out like a flood against every yoke against every spell against every enchantment because this is Bethel, the house of prayer this is the mountain of the lord this is the place of judgment of every power that does not bear the name of christ get ready now one two at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus three i challenge powers go 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 witchcraft i cross you i cross you i cross you yokes be broken yokes be broken yokes be broken yokes be broken yokes i release fire fire 
My Bible tells me there is no peace for the wicked. And the Bible says these forces of wickedness, the horns that sit over men's destiny. One more time, we are going to shout that name. My God, across this congregation, locate any man, any woman, any family that have been buffeted by Satan. Let none escape. Let no devil hide. Hallelujah. At the count of three, one more time you will shout that name, Jesus. There's fire all over this auditorium. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Oh, let it come like a tornado. Three. Victoria, who is Victoria? Victoria, I'm seeing a woman outside. Victoria, you are wearing like a red veil, red, red, like a red veil. Come, I see the chains falling. Let me tell you, tonight you will know there is God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That he's alive. Hallelujah. Stephen, Stephen, Stephen. Stephen, white, come. Hallelujah. Hold on, let her not go, please. Those that come out, they shouldn't just get up and go like that. Hallelujah. Let me talk to you. Please come. Come. Your deliverance has come tonight. I don't know what to do. Thirteen years. Yes, thirteen years. Twenty years. Hold, hold on, madam. Calm down. What's the, what's the situation? My husband. 
husband. My husband has his neglect for almost 20 years. 20 years. Look at me. Because the Lord is showing me a spirit. This is what I'm seeing. Please listen. And I'm seeing your husband tied to a tree. This is what God is showing me. What does he do? He's a lawyer. He's a lawyer. Because there is nothing moving. Finance, zero. This thing is even affecting your home. Because there is no peace. Is that true? I'm going to pray for you right now. This deliverance that has happened to you. It's not just for your sake. He said, as for me and my house. Hallelujah. Father. Brother is getting mad now. His brother is getting mad. Your father's brother. Father, my husband's brother. There's no other mic. Help us now. It's okay. Cheer up, madam. I want you to know that every time God steps in, it doesn't just touch you alone. The word of God goes around your house and looks for anywhere that is not like the garden of Eden and it will reproduce Eden there. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a permanent change. I command breakthrough in your family to your husband, to you and I cause that madness that spirit of madness please don't come out if i've not called you don't come out if i've not called you madam the lord sets you free in the name of the lord jesus christ Stephen, do you have an elder brother hold on hold on who has an elder brother here come where is he huh? i went i left he was not at home your your elder brother if because I'm seeing they are looking for him. Where is he? He's not at home when I left home. He was not at home when you left home. If we don't pray for him, they are going to say he's missing and they will kill him somewhere. Are you getting my point now? Yes, sir. So we are going to pray. Huh? You believe that? I believe. Please, let's not waste time. If you are wasting my time, I'll just leave you. There are many things to be done. Oh, my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, step in to this family. God is also restoring joy joy in your family that's what god says i should tell you there is restoration of joy in the name of the lord jesus christ who is in kaduna my sister your sister is in kaduna what is she doing yet she doesn't have it because i see stagnation and the lord is saying i should release breakthrough to someone in kaduna kaduna in the name of jesus christ she receives a job right now you will return with your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, sir. You are great because I'm seen in the vision of the Lord and you are standing like a hand and you are protecting your family members. The spirit of prayer is upon you. Otherwise, many disastrous things would have happened in your home. But then God is saying, I should tell you that he's stepping in as a warrior in your family. Please believe me, he's stepping in as a mighty warrior into your family lord jesus let an anointing even through this brother step into the family and let there be a restoration now in the name of the lord jesus christ madam i need to pray for you we need to pray against cs otherwise they are going to tell you that your baby is too big and whether that your is not expanding enough huh? and they will say they will cut you and that will cause a lot of bleeding and complications but we need to pray because very soon this baby is coming is that true, it's true sir. we are going to pray thank you jesus christ we position this baby well and we command there's no complication now and every foul devil of darkness something is leaving you i'm seeing a spirit leaving you in the name of Jesus Christ, God bless. I'm seeing the Lord is saying He's wiping the tears from your family. The Lord is wiping the tears from your family. The Lord is wiping the tears from your family. An anointing will come upon you. The Lord is wiping the tears from your family. 
have I finished with you? Please. Why are they out again? Huh? Stephen, come. I'm not really seeing it. Where's your sister? She's I have she's in Abuja. Eh? What's she doing? She's married. I didn't say is she married or not. She's not doing she anything. Doing? She's not doing anything. Yes. The Lord gives her a job now. Now! In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to pray, sir. There is a lot of stagnation in your life. There's a lot of stagnation. Huh? And you want to settle down maritally. This is a desire in your heart. Is that true? Yes. You are ashamed of it. Yes, yes. You want to settle down, but yes. it's like things have not been moving. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, a wife and the resources to marry will release to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God will use you for his glory. But you will step into seasons where he will walk with you and he will prune you and he will help you in the name of jesus christ please come my dear all victorious come madness madness this is the spirit of madness this is the, the strong spirit of madness hallelujah this is madness and this is not just to you this is i'm seeing a strong I'm seeing a whirlwind all around. It's the spirit of a wanderer like Cain. Hold my hands. Father, in the name that is above all names, we curse this spirit. We curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. I curse this spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Vicky. I need to pray for you. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me. And the Lord is telling me wickedness all the way from Kogi State. This is what God is telling me. Wickedness all the way from Kogi State. But we are going to pray that God will step in in your family. And we are going to pray against the spirit of anger in your family. It has caused the family a lot. Lord, let these demonic things live. Right now, I curse that spirit. By the fiery presence of God, I set the family free in the name of Jesus Christ. All Victoria, please come. Let me talk to you. Next month is a season of laughter in your house. Go and write it. Next month is a season of laughter. God is going to give your family a major breakthrough. Go and write it. We'll still be alive and you'll come and share it. It's a, it's a mighty season of breakthrough. Mighty season of breakthrough for the family. And where's your sister? Because I'm supposed to speak this word to her too. That, is she not your sister? Come. I'm seeing another person. Where's the person? She's in Lagos. She's in Lagos because I'm seeing four ladies. We are going to pray. That in the name that is above all names, this word that God has shown me will come to pass. Father, we prophesy right now that this month of August will mark a tremendous season of breakthrough in this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let it be so. No power will stop it. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you. My dear, come. Where's your mother? Delicious. Eh? Doing Delicious. what? For now. We have to pray. There are, see, one of the things that I see God doing this night, there are many families that are stagnated. I don't know why God wants to deal with this issue of stagnation. Standing in one place. You are moving, but spiritually you are standing in one place. Hallelujah. Father, I release this family right now. Look at me. Your relationship with Jesus Christ. Huh? Your relationship with Jesus Christ. God is saying I should tell you that he wants you to be very serious with him. That's the key. Alright? All right? Please, that's the key. Be very serious with him. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come. Who is Grace? My sister. Who is Grace? My sister. Who is Victor? Friend. 
a friend we have to pray because God is giving grace a miracle Amen. God is giving grace a big miracle what's she doing my name Victoria grace 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 my sister what's she doing a student a student which school she just finished her secondary school and I have a cause that is grace it's not a student I'm talking about there is someone else called grace she's a cousin of mine she's a cousin of yours where is she she's at home she's at home we have to pray for her because God wants to bless her Amen. and then God wants to visit your family too thank you father let there be shouts of victory I curse the spirits that are responsible for every kind of predicament in this family in the name of Jesus Christ is that... what's she here for Victoria let me pray for you father visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ was that Victoria she's in the hospital what she's suffering from cancer of the blood, cancer of the blood. Yes, hold my hands we change that report now cancer you have a voice and you have a name therefore bow to the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ madam can I talk to you please come your time of visitation has come because while you were there the Lord was ministering to me and I heard what you were saying. You were telling the Lord that you know he will visit you this night. Yes. Come, please, let me talk to you. God is going to set your... He's going to change your entire life. Amen. 180 degrees. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We'll pray. God is addressing your health, number Amen. one. What's wrong with you? Um, 2011, I was diagnosed of hypertension. Hypertension. Then 2006, I had a cesarean section, my last baby. Uh huh. I lost the baby. Since then, my abdomen refused to go back to its normal size. Because this is demonic. Yes. It's not. It's it not. Used to it, trouble me. That's what I'm saying. So when I came here, it was one of the prayer points. I said, God, should locate me in my health, my abdomen, my finances, my marriage. God is. And my God children. is going to. Madam, let nobody let you think that it's too late to have a child. Amen. This is what the Lord is saying. I should Amen. minister to you. Amen. Forget about what has happened. Amen. We are going to pray. Because until this thing goes down, a child is not coming. There is a spirit that is responsible. I curse that spirit now. Go! Go! I see you in the spirit. Let this woman go right now. Go! You see, you see it leaving her. You are a wicked devil of darkness. Go! 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 Sinde krapishi la makuri araba, rati ke bronze kila baria takabai. I prophesy and I command victory in the name of Jesus. Hypertension, you are a spirit. Leave now, leave now. I command this thing to go down, to go down. Every growth, every swelling, I command it to leave in the name of Jesus. And your high blood pressure that is high. I command it to go down also and this man that comes to molest you in dreams the last time you saw him is the last time you will ever see him in the name of Jesus the Lord is asking me to speak over your finances I command that by the mystery of divine supply let there be a turnaround miracle in your life in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ I'm seeing a woman outside one mama just like this outside outside please let's save time because we want to pray for the sick I want to see how we'll finish as soon as possible please don't stop praying keep praying God is touching people please come no she's not the one i'm seeing but just come but she's not the one there is another one hallelujah stretch your hands and pray against the spirit of death upon this man because i'm seeing the spirit of death i'm seeing the spirit of death 
We challenge the spirit, oh God. We challenge the spirit, oh God. Go! You will not die. I cause the spirit of death. I cause the spirit of death. I minister life to you. Life. 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 for you I command breakthrough into your life madam in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has died in your life I command you to come alive right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me another woman I'm seeing you are from Benway State Benway State I'm seeing a woman from Benway 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 Please, if there's someone like that, let's just. Hallelujah. Benway State. There's someone here. You came to stand for someone with breast cancer. Cancer is cancer of the breast. Who is that? You came to stand in for someone. You're the one? You're the one? Yes, sir. My cousin. Your cousin. Yes. breast cancer yes sir. because this thing has gone serious yes sir. and it's only the power of god yes otherwise sir. they are going to cut off the breast yes, sir. that's what the doctors have said yes, but sir. tonight there is a name that is above every other name yes, there is a name there is a name there is a name hold my hands father in the mighty name of jesus christ we curse that spirit right now in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing you wearing an atlas shoes god is bringing advancement and speed into your life i'm seeing you wearing the shoes of an athlete because you are going to run god is going to visit you in a very mighty way in the name of the lord jesus christ breast cancer father let there be perfection in the name of jesus christ let her come. Let her come. I know. It's not even her I want to talk about. Her. Your mother. Where is your mother? My mother. She's at home. She's at home. God is going to visit your mother in a very mighty way. Amen. God is, I'm seeing increase coming. It looks like a promotion or something is coming for your mom. And I'm seeing God visiting your family's finance. In a very mighty way Amen. I'm seeing a ring in your hand are you married you are married yes. where's your husband he's he's seated there please come husband I, I'm not sure I know you come because God wants to speak a word to the family sir the Lord God of Israel is going to visit your family in the next three months amen you will see dramatic things amen there are things that i may not say in, in the open now but i see a miracle coming i see a miracle coming amen. um how long have you been married sir Please. i'm hearing a cry of a baby amen. and it's a baby girl it's a baby girl a baby girl this will happen by the spirit of god this will happen by the grace of god Amen. please lay your hands on your stomach thank you jesus christ i curse everything that is not of god in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing you buying a new car i'm seeing you buying a new car god is showing me you are buying a new car it's a Toyota car. It's a Toyota car. You will see God do it by the hand of God. And God is also bringing you. Um, I'm seeing God bringing men to help you, even financially. Because this is one of the things that you really desire. Amen. God is bringing men to help you financially. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, let Amen. this be so. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, before I pray for the sick, did I pray for her? 
from Benway State. Mama, come. Do you have a daughter, ma? Yes. This is the daughter. I need to pray for you. Just leave your mother and hold my hands. We need to pray for you so that you will not have a child before marriage. Huh? We need to pray for you. There is a spirit in the family and we have to pray because even you as you are like this, it's not like you don't love God but you need to settle down. Otherwise, men, men cause a lot of problems and it's not like you're a bad girl. It's a spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I set her free from every yoke of darkness let her go now go mama may god bless you i open a new chapter for your life and i declare in the name of jesus that everything that has caused you pain my god is visiting you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah as we sing that song there's power in the name of jesus all the people that came here for healing Please just come and arrange yourself. Everybody keep praying in tongues. And say, Father, visit me. God is visiting people inside and outside. Please be orderly. Let's do it very fast. There's power in the name of Jesus. There is power. If you came with anybody's picture, you can also hold it. There is power. They break the Kabbalah. It's called a miracle service. It's not just a name, it's an experience to break every chain of darkness. No matter if there's no space, just stand. As we pray for others, then they will give way. Sing it one more time. There is power. Listen, he that cometh unto God must believe there is more than enough power to address any situation. I don't care what it is and I don't care how long it has been. Hallelujah. I'm going to lay my hands upon you and pray. Listen. Some of you are coming in for sickness. But what is the, the root cause of all of this? Is, is, the, is the same root cause that is affecting finance, affecting marriage. God is not just going to heal you. Hallelujah. God is going to address the root cause. Hallelujah. So as I pray for you, I want you to march down to your seat whatever you could not do make sure you begin to do it hallelujah i already sense the fire of the holy ghost upon my hands very strong and all of us who are standing god is touching people inside and outside be focused don't be distracted by the way if you have not written your prayer request now is the opportunity to take advantage of it hallelujah father we thank you let there be such a move of the healing power of Jesus that as these hands are laid, stretch forth your right hand, O oh God, and let your people be healed in the name of Jesus.
Look at this woman crying. Hold on. Hold on, please. Who brought this woman? I brought myself. Jesus brought me here. <laughs> but the uh, evil spirit has been attacking me. Something has been moving over my body. It's okay, please don't cry. Uh, uh, about 30 years now. Tonight is your night of liberty. I hear the chains falling. Jesus. I cause this spirit chains out. Out. I command that devil of death. I the chains. Leave this body now. By the power that is in the blood of Jesus. I hear the chain falling down. In your, there was pain in your leg, but now is there? Pain? It does. Do check yourself. It does. And it's like your stomach used to feel strong, and and then you feel something moving like a snake. Check it now. Check it now. Squeeze yourself. Father, Jesus, Father, thank you. There's nothing. I'm not feeling anything. Everything has gone. This was a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are here. Come on, celebrate Jesus, people. the 
if I ask you, it's because God told me to ask you. Whatever it is, just believe that as I'm praying for you, it's going. Are you getting my point? So move forward. Some of you, if, if we keep asking one by one, it doesn't matter what it is. Hallelujah. Go ahead, watch it. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord. Five years of ulcer, you'll be healed right now. And discharging. Hey, don't worry. God will set you free. That devil is a liar in the name of Jesus.
Go, go.
miracles everywhere and miracles everywhere miracles everywhere and right now right now and miracles everywhere i see miracles everywhere Please make sure you are praying. Don't think God is just touching the people here. There is something the atmosphere is doing. Let's just finish the prayer for this.
a glorious God. God is a miracle walker. God is a glorious God. God is, God is, he is a miracle walker. lion in the spirit this guy has a wild spirit when he's angry he can kill and it's not his fault this is this is an ancestral thing see how many people trying to hold one person this is how it will tie his destiny this is how he will get married to a very innocent lady and be manifesting things that he doesn't know i set you free right now this is a place of liberty leave him leave him he's free Oh, yeah, the 
Setting families free right now from marital delay. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. All those affected, as you count three, the fire of God will sweep across this place. There are marital destinies that have been tied down. Some of you, you are standing, but you are representing your family in the name that is above all names. Right now, anyone tied under any manifestation spirit husband spirit wife every manifestation of darkness as you shout the name jesus right now i command those doors to be open one two three free i set you free now right now right now right now be free I open up doors of marriages inside and outside. Be free. Be free. Every spell, every curse stopping your marital destiny. Hallelujah. Mommy, please can I talk to you? Your time of visitation has come because the Lord is saying he's going to wipe your tears and he's going to do this speedily. It's by the hand of the Lord. It's where is your husband, ma'am? Do you know why I'm asking you this? Because your situation is like in a similitude of that of Sarah, but God is going to wipe your tears. Please believe me. When I pray for you, I'm praying for marital delays. And then I'm looking at you. And the Lord is saying that this woman does not even have a husband. At the point I even say, ah, what is this? Is that true? And I'm asking myself, but I'll pray for you. You, you trust God to settle down? I'll pray for you. Yes, it will happen. It will happen. Anyone here due for marriage, listen anyone here be it yourself or any member of your family that is long overdue for marriage right now i prophesy in the name that is above all names let those doors be open now may those doors be open now something is happening in this place may those doors be open now may those doors be open now madam you will stand before the people of god when your wedding card is out if there is a god in heaven i break that curse right now now and i release your marital destiny 
the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's the Lord God Almighty. He's the Lord God Almighty. The earth is full of His glory. My life is full of your glory. And the people say, Holy, holy, holy. And the people say, holy, holy. Hallelujah. All of you lift your hands. God is going to do something amazing here right now. Listen. Everyone is standing for himself now, not for family. Please lift your hands. Listen, I'm seeing powers that have tied down the advancement of people. Listen to me. Because the Lord is ministering to me and I'm seeing someone standing with a sword. And this is a sword of judgment. This one is not for families again. There are many of us, you are walking but you are standing because nothing is moving right now in the name of jesus many of you will literally feel the fire of god come upon you like a baptism is burning chaffs burning chains some of you your academics are the way they are right now because of powers neke paratika come on now. father in the name of Jesus, right now, chains be broken, be broken, be broken, chains be broken. Baptisms are happening, baptisms of fire, personal deliverances of fire, fire, fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost is time for you to move forward. Fresh fire to move forward. Fresh fire. No stagnation. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still going to do this again. Listen, I'm telling you. This is the root problem of many of the our predicaments. There are there are forces. Please follow me. This is the part you get to participate. Lift your hands again. Lord, what is it that has tied your people down? They have prayed for others. They have ministered to others. But right now, like a volcano, let the fire of God sweep across this place right now let it burn the roots let it burn the roots set the roots on fire set the roots on fire let your people make progress hallelujah lift your hands Let's enter the realm of your academics now. There are horns. Tied people's CGPA. Tied people's minds. But he said, I have sent carpenters. Lift your hands. It's not everyone that is dull. There are people who are studying. You are doing your best. Right now, all of those ones, your hands. Fire is coming on your hands. Just your hands. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. One, two, three. Fire on your hands. On your hands. Fire. Academic liberty. Fire on your hands. We break those chains. We break those chains. We break those chains. Come on, join me as you pray. Join me as you pray. Academic chains be broken. She 
Alléluia. There are some of us, listen. God is setting people free tonight. One cycle of tragedy, as soon as he's finishing, another one is starting. It, it never comes to a point where your family can experience peace. The Bible says, and he dug a well, and they came and closed it. He dug another one, and they closed it. And he dug the third one, and they left it, and they said, Rehoboth, the Lord has given me room. I'm praying right now. Please pay attention to what I'm doing. This is the root cause. Believe me, you will be wasting your time for nothing. If you don't confront these powers, you can receive temporary breakthrough. But you will get back into the same situation. Hallelujah. In fact, we are going to pray just for one minute. Hallelujah. You are going to pray. I like you to pray like a priest. In the next one to two minutes, listen. I like you to tell the Lord that whatever is the root cause, you are not concerned about the fruits and the leaves. It may be headache, leave that one. Lord, what is the root cause of my stagnation? What is the root cause of my family's problem? In the name of Jesus, let it be confronted tonight. Lift your voice and pray. We attack the root causes of sicknesses, the root causes. Pray, pray for your business, pray for your ministry, pray for your academics. Visit me tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says. The children shall not suffer the iniquity of their fathers. But there are many of us here. The troubles in our lives are as a result of the mistakes and the wickedness for some of us of our parents and loved ones. He said, who's seen that this man is in this situation? Is it him or his father? Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Please lift your hands. God is setting men free tonight. Anyone here going through circles of tragedy as a result of covenant and parental influence, as you shout the name Jesus after the count of three, may the fire of God separate you from the mistakes of your lineage. In the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Be separated, be separated, be separated, now, be separated, I break limitations, ancestral spirits, tribal spirits, territorial spirits, right now, be free, every name that is in any demonic cover, we set it on fire now. We set it on fire now. Jesus died to set us free. Jesus truly died to set us free. It wasn't a joke. He said, but we do not see all things under his feet. Lift your hands again. Your hands again. 
say after me in the name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus I am ready to make progress I'm ready to move forward I'm ready to break barriers and tonight by the blood of Jesus I confront and challenge the root causes of my limitation lift your voice and begin to pray we challenge it we challenge powers that have limited men there must be a release tonight Jacob wrestled with God pray 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 it's time for you to move forward it's time for you to break limits break limits I tell you God is there are there are massive there is an emancipation lift your hands again say after me in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus speaks for me in the name of Jesus the blood of Jesus is the price for my freedom listen keep the hands lifted just keep them lifted all instruments just stop just lift your hands and keep them lifted there is a reason why I'm saying you should keep them lifted hallelujah the spirit of God is going to walk through the crowd listen just keep them lifted something marvelous will happen right now I'm seeing water that God is pouring on people right now let the power of God move everywhere inside and outside this water that I see an angel pouring is a cleansing is a purging of many people's foundations just keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is going on but just lift your hands if you trust that God is in this place let the angels move right now row to row line to line visit men oh God visit men visit men Catelato. row to row water there are three that bear witness in heaven the spirit the water the blood i invoke the power of these three spiritual entities right now the mystery of the spirit the water and the blood I tell you, see, many of you will, will walk into levels of breakthrough that will surprise you. Keep it lifted. Just keep it lifted. Keep it lifted. You don't know what is happening in the spirit. Just keep it lifted. Jesus. Shikaparia. Neketa, mande poriata. I see covens on fire. I'm telling you, covens of darkness on fire. Siteke pa 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 pa. This is not just your family. This is your life now. You prayed for your family, but you need to move forward. Otherwise, men will think you are faking this thing. a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head a chain is falling from someone's head i see this in the spirit a chain is falling this is mental bondage a chain is falling i'm hearing sounds of chains Hallelujah. 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 
Now, before we submit the prayer request, lift your hands. You are going to mention one thing, just one, that you want God to do, that everyone will know that this one, I prayed it here and God did it. Are you getting my point now? I'm just walking based on the instructions of the Spirit. He wants to give you a sign of His presence in your life. I know you wrote many things. Brothers and sisters, in the next one minute, cry out one thing. One. Just one. Don't be foolish. Pray. Pray. I'm ministering by the influence of the Spirit. Pray. No matter how impossible it is, pray. So, Topa, unto you that answers prayers will all flesh come. Unto you that answers prayers. Soposa, leke sepanda. Rekete kapa Mata leketa What thing soever Ye desire When ye pray Believe that you have Received it Believe that you have Received it There is nothing out for my God Pray it Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone, let's pray in tongues for one minute as we collect the prayer request. Please go ahead. God is just leading us to pray and He's doing many things in the background. Please, quickly, in one minute, let's submit the prayer request. Pass it to the last person. Pass it to the last person. Ushers, please, cooperate with us and let's hurry up. Pray. Pray. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Keep passing the request, but listen to me. I made a vow to God. I just returned from my retreat. And one of the vows that I made to God is that I don't care what people would think about me. But if I ever have the opportunity to minister to God's people, i rather have an ugly message and let people get results. Are you getting what I'm saying? Part of my, my prayer, and I, I took out time to cry. I said, Lord, your people must see your hand. It says, oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart longs after you. To see your power and your glory as I have seen in the sanctuary. That means what I have seen in the sanctuary. I am also a sanctuary. Reproduce the result in my life. Hallelujah. So this program is aimed at bringing everyone into a place of personal spiritual success. And let me tell you, I know that it's not a very nice message. I wish that I didn't have to pray to confront spirits and powers that stop people. I like to preach a nice message that will just tell you that don't worry. If you believe everything is, has, has gone, it has gone. I wish, I just wish it were like that. But brothers and sisters, I can tell you, it is not. It is not. You will believe that lie to your detriment. It is not. We live in a rude world and there are forces. Otherwise, the anointing of the Spirit is useless. What then is the purpose of the anointing? What then is the efficacy of the blood? Why then does Paul tell us to put on? Hallelujah. I want your life to experience breakthroughs. See, otherwise, 
we have no right to tell people we are not faking it are you getting my point if there is no breakthrough in your life then what then is the confidence of the message that people keep saying God is I'm one I believe that one result can silence a lot of questions I'm not that believer that likes just no there must be an evidence in your life I don't know how many times I saw this when I kept praying the Lord kept talking to me and said the root cause deal with the root cause of people's lives root cause I'm telling you it's not just healing alone that's why you notice I prayed for the sick very quickly hallelujah thank you Jesus Christ we are going to pray one prayer point before we have all the prayer requests here inside and outside make sure you are participating hallelujah I like you to pray and challenge every limitation whether mental whether spiritual anything that limits you is not of God lift up your voice and confront it I break limitations if there are no limitations you will make progress if there are no limitations you will make progress please everyone pray take this seriously even if you are walking be praying as you're walking Lord I challenge limitations let there be no limits in my life let there be no limits in my life let there be no boundaries as far as your eyes can see as far as your eyes can see ushers please let's hurry up ushers please let's hurry up so potoko pata da 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 so pre teke le bondo subandi le kabaria hallelujah hallelujah we are still going to pray i'm going to be laying hands on these requests hallelujah pair yourselves into two find a man or a woman of prayer we are challenging limitations that word limitation media project it that word limitation write it that's the word we are attacking this night ye have tarried in this mountain for too long he said turn ye not words hallelujah hold on before you pray while I lay my hands here hallelujah hold the hands of the person you are going to pray if there's nobody you can join and make two or three Say in the name of Jesus. One more time. Say in the name of Jesus. I come as an ambassador of the kingdom. And I challenge every limitation in every area of my life. I command it to bow down. The Bible says, Naaman, hear me. Second Kings 5. Naaman was the captain of the Syrian army. He said he was a mighty man. But tonight we are going to confront the bots in our lives. You are academically excellent, but there are limitations. I don't know if there are limitations in someone's life that you are saying, Lord, in this miracle service, this is it. Hallelujah. While I pray in the next two to three minutes, instrumentalists play clash the cymbal and everyone pray hold the hands of your neighbor if he's joking leave him and hold another person
open the floor gates of heaven. Gates of heaven, open the open the floor gates of heaven. One more time. Hallelujah. Listen. I believe with all my heart that God is confronting limitations. Many of you don't know what limitations are. You, poverty is a limitation. Are you getting my point? Spiritual bankruptcy is a limitation. A prayerless life is a capital limitation. A wordless life is a limitation when you are supposed to get married and you've not gotten married it's a limitation academic backwardness see there are very few people who are here for for sicknesses and all is is limitation that's the name of what you are going through hallelujah before i prophesy we'll soon have the last session and then we're, we're done we are still going to pray don't be tired i beg you just follow through with me if you believe that i hear god and if you believe we are walking by the spirit i like you to pray hallelujah limitation i know a brother listen listen i know a brother that for many years this gentleman was so gifted but I'm telling you, nothing was working in his life. Please hear me. This is a true story. Very gifted, but things were tied down. Hallelujah. He did everything, did everything that, that he knew to do. But when God made him know that these things are limitations, he took a quality time of his life challenging it. And brothers and sisters, when he prevailed, doors were open. It was as if the blessings have left heaven, but to now come to this realm. And Daniel remained in prayer. Please hear me. Anything that kills your prayer life has stopped you from your breakthrough. It's not the issue of I'm called into the ministry of prayer or not. Forget that nonsense that the devil brings. Men ought always. Luke 18 1 he spake this parable if you are alive you don't pray because of fear you pray because it's a spiritual transaction it makes things possible in this realm hallelujah we're going to pray one more time and you're going to say Lord one more time visit this issue of limitation in my life and my family Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Mention the aspects where you are facing limitation. Don't feel embarrassed. Mention them and say, Lord, let your fire come upon it. Lift your voice and pray. Koinonia, pray. Pray your way to breakthrough. Sopata. Teka. Repotopakata. We lift up an incense of prayer. 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 Change lives. Break limits. Financial limits. Support Sata intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it 
Sopotopata. We break limitations, business limitations, ministry limitations, limitations of potentials. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Every time limits are broken, the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph but a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I, com I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Men of influence. Men of access. Sopotoposh. Rokotoposh. Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray. Pray. Pray, pray. Lord, we call them for. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me. The prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man if he was poor and broke the king would not hear him the Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised you are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray we are going to pray and say Lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny I receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray support it Time and chance happens to them all. Time and chance. Be it a Cyrus or a son of the kingdom. Pray. We embrace their ministry. We embrace their ministry. I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Men of influence, kings, destiny help us, spiritual help us, financial help us, academic help us. Men of influence, men who can talk to kings. Pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison. Although anointed, there are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification 
is bigger than where you are you have done your best when you have done all you need to do you need another man who is not you are you hearing what i'm saying certain men certain men it was the wine presser that told the king he said i know my wrongs this day there is a man oh there is a man many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials you have sharpened your leadership potentials it's not pride you know that it's time to break forth but the distance between you and the next level is that certain man lift up your hands oh god where is this certain man let him come into my life come on pray one more time it takes one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what I'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh Lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while i was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the uk and he was saying man of god don't ask me how I got to find out about you and have your number. He said, when a man is in trouble, he will look for help anyhow. Are you getting my point? While you are sitting down to sleep, somebody is waking others to talk about you, but you must activate it. It doesn't happen by magic. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry. There are many of you who graduated with excellent results. You've even added masters. And the king sent for Joseph. Somebody must send for you to leave the level that you are. And I prophesy, whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names. Listen, listen. There is a man of God, a popular man of God. I will not mention names. The man had the gift of God like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what I'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the Holy Spirit told him sow a seed of 30,000 naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed Ah, 
the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking and said we're looking for a man of god to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of god and that was it i'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem i tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of god that he never would have been able to see are you getting my point they all called him and said we'd like you to come and and minister mike mudok met a young man who was very gifted gifted but there was nothing working in his life and mike mudok looked at him and came and he said god told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if you share this testimony did you share your testimony Erima? i'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in abuja and then we came back together by the grace of god are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of unilever nigeria are you, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for renard bonke when he came to joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um cv and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave joss and report to lagos he has been there for three years now many of us are praying lord take me to the next level i'm telling you the secret you need a man hear me there are things you cannot do for yourself you may be anointed but your grace will remain there until a man can announce you may have a great business a multi-million and billion dollar business but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you are you getting my point i know one of my friends he was my classmate very intelligent and brilliant guy this guy finished furthered his education there was nobody to speak for him and this guy kept struggling for years nobody to speak for him and one day i i prayed i said oh lord but help this guy this guy has paid the price Look, when I say, I, I think I will classify him as a genius. And I'm not telling a lie. But I know other people, before they even finish service, the road has been made plain. You need someone in your life. Please pray and say, oh God, send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life. Please pray. Send a man to change my music ministry, oh God send a man send a man into my family koinonia pray we are rounding up
Sopotopata. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man. Send a man into my life. Pray for your business. Pray for your job. One recommendation is all you need. One man who can believe in you. Struggling continues until there is a voice that can speak for you. Struggling continues until there is a man that can believe in you and invest in your grace. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet. I want to prophesy into your life. I truly believe that this miracle service will bring remarkable results. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. As much as possible, if you can stand, stand inside and outside. Has thou commanded thy money? This system of God's kingdom does not work without it being activated. Hallelujah. Don't get too familiar that every miracle service we are speaking, there is something that is happening. Hallelujah. We are entering the eighth month. And I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, I prophesy right now whoever needs to come into anyone's life for the next dimension of their lives to open up i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus i call them forth right now in the name of jesus business help us ministry help us marriage help us anyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above all names we command by the power of the holy ghost let doors of job be open right now let it be open right now anyone called barry 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 in the name that is above all names we provoke fruitfulness we provoke fruitfulness. Hallelujah. Anything in your life that is dying, business, ministry, potentials, your gift, your ideas, your proposals, your letters, your visions, your dreams, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I knock on the door of life and I command that let there be life, 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 life to that dry boat. Hallelujah. Everything that represents tragedy and disfavor in your life, that it keeps working for others until it gets to your turn, in the name that is above all names, may supernatural doors of favor be open right now. hallelujah i want to pray for your finance the lord is leading me to do this as many of you who believe it please can you hold a seed in your hand get a seed for some of you it may be a sacrificial seed if you don't believe it just just forget about it we don't cajole people we don't tell lies i want to speak into your finances hallelujah please lift it up Is our prayer and our duty that God will come through in every area of our life. But let me tell you something. It will take a seed to open up the heavens. Just leave the hands. Leave the hands. I want to rebuke the devourer 
for some of you this is for you a seed of mercy to speak over your non-tithing for some of you this is a seed of wisdom to open you up to ideas of wealth for some of you this is a seed of open heavens a seed of breakthrough just lift it up lift it up Hallelujah. the Lord is showing me 11 people the fire of God is coming on your seed from your hand 11 people 11 people right now Lord let your power move let them know that this is not just a conjuring of men 11 people 11 people super yatamba let that seed be salted with fire we give it a voice in the realm of the spirit please lift it up let me speak with this seed aya, the power of God is moving because poverty poverty is one thing that God hates don't ever let anybody convince you that God is the author of lack and poverty your seed your seed is the key to getting out of this level Trust me, this is not a financial gimmick. Father, right now, with this seed, in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of poverty, goodness, goodness. How could we have ended this service without prophesying? Look at spirits. I see it in the spirit. There is an exit of wicked forces tying people's finances father in the name of jesus we release by the mystery of divine supply let there be abundance now let there be abundance now everything that has tied your financial life and that of your family we contend together as a family that it must be released in the name of jesus go ahead and drop the seed and pray in tongues quickly Please, we are rounding up. Please, quickly, ushers, let's save time. Many of you will experience breakthroughs, mighty breakthroughs. Lift your hands, we are not done, please. We are out of time, we have to hurry up. Please, make sure you drop something. Make sure a seed leaves you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep the hands lifted. The ushers will get to you. But please, there is somebody outside. Ah, a mighty manifestation. The spirit of poverty is being broken outside. Outside, just lift your hands, please. I know we're out of time. Just give me one minute. You don't need to bring the people. Outside, just keep the, the hands lifted. Father, whoever those people are, let the fire of God locate them right now. Right now right now right now poverty be broken i cast that spirit i cast that spirit i cast that spirit hallelujah say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance say the blessing of the lord is my inheritance and through my giving I access that inheritance father no I'm praying for you now every limitation over anyone's life may that limitation fall now and every destiny helper that needs to come into your life to bring your life partner to bring your business partner to bring to connect you with graces in the name of Jesus we release them into your life hallelujah give Jesus praise Lord Jesus. give Jesus praise hallelujah let me make an altar call very quickly right now there are many of us here you have never given your heart to the Lord please listen inside and outside We've never truly made that commitment to Jesus. 
Some of us have given our hearts to the Lord, but we have found ourselves derailing. And tonight, God is calling you home. Wherever you are, please leave your seat and come right now. Celebrate them. They are coming. Celebrate them. Don't wait for anybody. Jump up on your feet and come. Outside, wherever you are, God is talking to you and saying you need to make your, your ways right with Jesus. Please come. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Don't wait for anybody. Don't wait for anybody. Don't be ashamed. I know there are a number of people outside. Jesus is calling you to make your ways right. Jesus is calling you. Keep coming. God bless you. Hallelujah. We're out of time. Keep coming. Pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I give you my heart. Take my everything. Use me for your glory. Today, I make Jesus Lord of my life. I make up my mind to walk with the Spirit of God. I denounce sin. I denounce Satan. And I receive the grace of God to live a victorious Christian life. Father, I pray for these ones. Bless them. Anoint them. Use them. May their decisions last. May their decisions be true. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for making this decision. I'd like you to follow the usher. Follow the usher and he's going to lead you. Hallelujah. Now, while I take the announcement, if this is your first time of worshiping with us, I'd like you to leave your seat and just run out here. We want to bless and speak a word of prophecy over you. God bless you. We celebrate you. Outside, no matter how far you are, come. Come, encourage them, Koinonia. Encourage them. Thank you, Ma. Thank you, sir. Come on, Koinonia. This is not the best. We are grateful people in this house. We are grateful people. He brought them by the finger of God. Hallelujah. Keep coming. God bless you. Keep coming. God bless you. Thank you so much for making our time to come. Hallelujah. We honor you. We celebrate you. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International. This is our miracle service. We are here every Friday and God is building us. We want to pray and prophesy into your life right now. I want you to believe it because you will see the hand of God. The Bible says, who has believed our report and to whom the hand of the Lord has been stretched? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Saints of God, stretch your hands and let's bless them. They came because they believed that God will step into their lives. Stretch your hands. We prophesy over every aspect of your life. God is coming through for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever challenge you came here with, we are assuring you that you will not return with it. We bless you with hunger for the things of God. We bless you with the spirit of prayer. We bless you with the presence of God. We bless you with love for God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we bless you with the favor of God. You are like a well-watered garden. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you be mightily used of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you once again for coming.